This is it boys, FIFA 20 is here and welcome to my Everton career mode. The wait, the anticipation for this game, it is all paying off. It is finally here and we are starting our career as a manager with Everton. This is going to be a career mode unlike anything you've ever seen before. And as we get into it, if you guys are new, please leave a subscription and comment like the video if you want to see this more often. It is going to be an advanced career mode three to four episodes per season we're literally going to get through a season per week most likely we're going to try to bring everton to champions league glory and i'm gonna need your help guys you are gonna be my just scouts and you're gonna need to tell me who we should sign who we should sell who we should bring in comment section the most liked comments per video will be getting the most um getting the most attention for me i should say and i'm gonna be looking into signing your guys' players so as this is fifa 20 one of the brand new features is you get to create your own manager which is um what we're gonna do here today and i'm gonna try my best to speed through this process for you guys and just create my manager very quickly i don't know if this is something you guys want to see you probably already seen the manager customization so we're gonna do this as quick as possible and we're almost done here with the creation process but you know we gotta go for the hat. For whatever reason, they decided to put hats in this. So let's do it. I wish, oh my gosh, can I get a blue hat for Everton? No, that's just the hair color. Oh my gosh. I would have loved to just have a blue hat right there. The Everton blue on my manager. But we'll stick with this. And here we go. I think we have our manager complete right here. We got Jake Barford from England. I'm from the States, but I decided to make my manager from England. Why not? And here he is. We got the hat. We got the blue attire. It's time to get into this career mode. This is what Everton is looking like in the game right now. 60 million. That is US uh, dollars. So I don't know what that's going to equate when we change the currency. And I do love their kits this year. I'm going to have to pick up a new Everton kit. Unfortunately, no European competition for us this year. That's something we're going to have to, of course, work our way up to the top. And hopefully by next season, I want to get top four. That would be the dream. World-class difficulty. Transfers enable. All this is good except for... We want to do Sterling. All right, boys, it is time to begin the Everton career mode. Without further ado, let's get into it. So although I'm not going to play in the preseason tournament, I am going to just accept the invitation. I always love the extra money. So we're going to do that. And let's do the South American one as it's going to give us the most. And here we are into the career mode. This is what our squad is looking like. All right, I got a few ideas of how I'm going to improve the team this episode. And of course, next episode is where you guys are going to be able to help me improve the team but it's already looking great. We got Calvert-Lewin up front, and then of course, we got Keane. The striker position is something I'm not really worried about because Calvert-Lewin and Keane are two players that I literally just wanna focus on, of course, with dynamic potentials. I wanna get them as much action as physically possible on the pitch. Also, left mid, right mid, I'm not too concerned with. We got Walcott on the bench, we got Iwobi as well. What I am looking for is another central attacking midfielder, another CDM, and a center back. And I'm gonna hopefully be able to sign all three during this episode, we'll see. And only 48 million in the transfer budget. That is not ideal. I would love a lot more than that. We'll see who we're gonna be able to sign with this. We may have to sell some players first. 48 mil, I'm not liking that. And since we don't have a ton of money, I think it's only fair in our first season, we get a little help. So we can build a true, not dream team just yet, because with a financial takeover, it's not going to be that much. But it's going to allow us to sign some big players and make this career mode just a little bit more interesting. We're going to do it, boys. The financial takeover. Let's equip it. Redeem our item. Here we go. This is going to be fun. And with that, 132 mil. So it's a good amount. It's not like I would have been a lot more upset if it gave us like 200, 300 million, which would be completely unrealistic. 130 mil for Everton, I think, is realistic. And again, we're going to be able to sign some huge players. So one of the new features this year, the player um conversations greeting boss on behalf of the whole team i'd like to give you a warm welcome hey man excited about the future let's go thanks seamus so let's get into it i want to start this career mode with a bang i want to get a big player and i have a central attacking midfielder on my mind he goes by the name of kai havertz 20 years old he's got insane potential only valued at 41 million Let's see if we can get Kai Havertz onto the team. So we got the new sort of animations right here or the new um, player tran uh, transfer just cutscenes right here as we're in like a nightclub or something. So it's time to negotiate an offer. 41 mil is what they value him at. 
but I know they're gonna want more and I'm gonna start with a 55 million offer is that fair for 20 years old let's maybe go 52 and see what they say I think it's fair because obviously they're gonna value him at more than 41 mil they say 68 that's a little actually that's better than I thought so go with the counter and we'll go with just 60 mil and see what they say for Kai Havertz it's gonna cost about half of what we have right now and they said they'll accept let's go boys no way could we be bringing Kai Havertz to this team so all we got to do now is hope that he accepts whatever we decide to negotiate with right here in terms of a contract I don't know what he's currently making per week hopefully it gives us a good idea of what we should offer him he's currently making 63,000 a week we might offer him upwards of 100k of course we're gonna give him crucial playing time and he says that's great him and Sigurdsson probably gonna split time five years 100% dude I'd love to keep you around for that long and I just realized our manager has a ponytail I did not mean to do that but kind of looks funny we'll keep it disregard the release clause in the wage we can't mess this up I'm gonna go with the hundred thousand per week and a hundred thousand signing bonus if he doesn't like it I would love to hear what you have to counter at and he says it's fair boys our first signing Kai Havertz welcome to the club so let's see how he's looking now and where he's gonna slot in what I'm thinking about doing is actually moving into a new formation where we can use two central attacking midfielders maybe only one cdm i'm gonna look around and find a formation that could suit this team this is literally perfect four five one attack it gives us two cams it gives us the ability to play both kai havertz sigurdsson a cdm and then both our left and right midfielders this formation is literally perfect I'm so excited to play with this team. So a lot of the training I'm gonna do is gonna be done off screen. Let me know which players you want me to train. Obviously, Keen is someone that I'm very keen on training. Um, that was a really bad joke, but you get the point. He's one of our best, young, he is our best young striker. Him and Calvert Lewin are gonna be beasts this year. We'll give him two training drills. And then the rest of Everton, I'm a little unfamiliar with, of course. I know some of the youngsters, but let me know which players we should exactly be training up. So this is what I have to start. Keen Davies and Holgate again. Your comments are always appreciated as to who else we're going to train, who else we're going to work with during this career mode. A transfer offer for Calvert-Lewin. That's not going to happen. Only 12 million as well. I, I can't remember what his potential is, but I, I don't know. I, I just want him to be one of our main strikers this year. And I'm not really looking to bring in another striker unless you guys want me to again. A lot of this is up to you, but I'm going to reject this for now. So the preseason tournament is just going to be simmed, and I kind of just want to get it out of the way right now. And I'm not too worried about transfers. I want to make one or two more signings. And then I also want to leave time in this transfer window for you guys to help me so that we can make a few more signings in the next episode. I'm going to play a bunch of games in the next episode. We'll get all the way up to January. And then in the third episode, we will literally finish the season. That's how quick we're going to go, and that's how just big this career mode is going to be so a loan offer and a transfer offer the loan i will accept i'll let this yeah callum conley i think we have a ton of fullbacks cdm wise i do want to bring in another cdm i'll let him go for a year if we need to recall him we can recall him and davies is a player that i don't want to get rid of i don't think you guys want to either he's one of our best young players so we're just going to decline both of these offers 10 million each too just not enough let's go in for another play here kai havertz was our first man in and the next person i want to go for is going to be an american he's listed as a central midfielder he can also play center back which is what i love two positions that i want to buff up uh just our defensive midfielders and midfielders in general so we're gonna go for him weston mckinney plays for schalk and we literally just loaned our player to them so we're gonna see if we can bring him in he's got a good rating as well we're not gonna pay negotiations because i think we can get him for cheaper than that so for weston mckinney i'm gonna throw in an offer of 11 million i'm pretty sure he's 77 rated and he's got like 85 potential so he's gonna be a beast they say 12 million 12.7 mil i'm gonna be cheap as always you guys know me we'll go 12 on the dot come on just accept man 700,000 less they say we have a deal let's go he could be our second signing so this is an interesting one because I don't really know what to offer him in terms of a contract and I don't think they're gonna give us an offer five years we're gonna disregard that 
Now I don't really know what to do here. I'm gonna go 40,000. I hope that's enough and we'll do, I like to just do the 100,000 signing bonus. Please don't storm out. I think that's a fair offer. They counter and they want a little bit more. We'll give it to him, man. We'll give it to him. Weston McKinney, I hope you got a bright future here at Evan Everton. Welcome to the freaking club. Let's go. Second signing. So we lost in the final of the preseason tournament, which is fine. We still got about six or seven mil extra to spend during this transfer window. And our first game of the year is against Crystal Palace, and it's about a month away. Now, what I'm going to do, this is going to be one of the more shorter episodes of the career mode since I need your guys' feedback. Who do we sign? What do we do? We're going to play a few games, and then I'm going to leave it at that. But it's time to see how this team is going to perform. So many transfer offers. Dinier, 33 mil. Wow, that is big. But he's just so good in our defense. I think I got to reject. I'm just going to reject all these most likely. Keen, definitely not leaving. Thompson is an interesting one. And we're getting 9 mil for him. Who else do we have at striker? I'd be interested in selling him and potentially picking up like a really young beast who we'd have to train up, obviously. We have him. That's the thing. We have this guy as well, Hornby. Um, wow. So we don't really have a lot of backup strikers after Calvert-Lewin and our boy Keen. I think I'm going to get rid of him, though. I think we're going to do that and try to bring in a young striker of your choice. Let me know who that should be in the comments. So our first game as a manager, our first game of our career here with Everton. And of course, we got to go into the brand new press conferences that have been introduced into FIFA this year. Let's see what they have to ask us. So Everton's one of four in preseason as left hand wanting more the same once it starts to get serious. Um, how does the preseason impact the squad? I'm just going to say uh, we got a lot of quality. Let's go with that. I mean, all of those answers literally would have helped to boost how um, our team morale is. Securing your Europa League position at the end of the season achievable 100%. It is a mandatory achievement, boys. We're going for Champions League glory, not even Europa League. We want Champions League this year. And the final question, they're talking about McKinney's acquisition. Will he make his debut? What do we say? Do we? Are we going to start him? I'm going to say he needs time to adjust. And um, we'll get him in probably as a sub this game. Yannick Balassi wants in. He says he's been good form. And I, he says, I hope you're not going to put me on the bench. I'm going to say I'll consider it. But I don't think we're going to end up putting him in. In our first game, I'm giving Keane the start. And I'm also going to put in Gomez as well. And then the rest of our team, man, I love our pace. We have such a pacey attack, which could come back to bite me because I tend to focus a little bit too much on pace. But it's a new game, a new year. We're also going to throw Weston McKinney. Um, I want to put him in the starting, not the starting 11, but I want to put him on the bench. He is going to be one of our backup center backs, and we just don't have a center back on the bench. I'm also going to take Schneiderlin out, and let's throw in Iwobi on the bench as well. I haven't decided who our subs are going to be for this game. But this is our starting 11. Game one, boys. Let's go. So here we go. Let's start this season out with a bang. Crystal Palace. We're playing at home as well. A home game. We need a win here, boys. And if we don't, this could be a very, very long season. This is a winnable game. A winnable opponent. I'm a little worried about the likes of Zaha if we can defend him. World-class difficulty as well. We could bump it up if we need to. But I think that's probably good for my playing level. Let's get into this. First game of the career mode. First game of the season. Here we go. First chance of the game. We decided to give Keane the start. I really hope that ends up being the right uh, move. And we're going to play a nice through ball into him to start the game. Who is that far post? Someone's open. Oh my gosh, it gets cleared away. We're still on it. Ball in. Whipped out. Whew, what a start, boys. Here we go. Rich Arlson right here. He's through. Oh, I probably should have taken the shot. We're going to swing it out. Ball in, Sigurdsson, he's offside. Keen is offside. Oh, this is not good. Crystal Palace with numbers forward. What a counterattack. And there's, who is that open in the middle of the box? I'm so lucky he put it wide. I had no defenders far post whatsoever. And they completely whiffed that chance. Palace down the wing. They got more men in the box. This time, nice save Pickford, Matt. He's going to be the savior for us this year. And it's time to counter. I want to get Havertz more involved. I feel like he's not doing much out there at that um, right CDM position. And someone is down the wing. It's Bernard. Here we go, Bernard. Does he have four-star skills? He does. Nice little scoop inside. Little wiggle. 
Is he gonna take this all the way? Bernard with the shots. That's a corner, man. Oh my. I was just flying down the wing with the um. I want to say he's from Brazil. Maybe not. Chance from a corner. Header. Oh my gosh. Keen nearly puts us up 1-0. <laughs> We're getting so many chances. We're gonna be one of our final chances of the half. Can we do anything from it? Kai Havertz. We paid a lot of money for you, man. We need you to do something. It's Sigurdsson. He's through. And it's Keen on the rebound. That is gonna be it for the half. Oh my, man. Way too many chances not to score that half. We got time remaining. We're going to make some subs here soon. We should be up like 2 or 3 nil right now. We have been absolutely dominating. And look at that. Hector Bellerin joined Crystal Palace. Palace here. Trying to make it 1-0 to start this game off here in the second half. Our defense is unreal. And now it's time to counter. We need to get something from this. I might just end up going on attacking because we need to get a goal. We just had too many chances not to score. Look at this. Bernard with the pace. Go, Bernard. And I see Keen in the box. And I see someone far post. I'm going to go far post. Who's there? Header. Down. There it is. We get the goal. It's about freaking time. Oh, my gosh. Wow. That took way too long to score. And it's number seven. It's Richarlson. It's 1-0. Oh, my gosh, boys. Let's go. Look at this, man. The cross. First time, no. Second time in from Richarlson. And we make it 1-0. After that goal, it's time to make some subs. We need to make sure this defense is ready to go. I'm going to put Weston McKinney at center back. We're going to take out Keen. Um, who else, man? Let's get a little bit more pace. Let's put Iwobi in. Give Bernard a break. And maybe put Calvert-Lewin in as well. We'll take Keen out. A triple sub here. We need more pace up front. I want to just keep attacking. We need a few more goals. We're already looking like we're going to get a second. It looks like they're just going on all-out attack and it's leaving their team wide open that easily could have been a second as soon as calvert lewin comes on he almost instantly scored near post corners always worked last year in fifa 19 it doesn't look, look it's not looking like they're gonna be working this year as much let's go look at our attack man we're still on attacking i probably it'd be smart to go defending but i'd rather just keep it on this and see what we can do let's have a strike with kai havertz I'm telling you, man, he's going to be good for us this year. As soon as I can figure out his sort of play style. Here we go. Awobi fresh off the bench. And look at this pace. Let's go with the grounded cross. And it, it is in. It is Calvert-Lewin. It is 2-0. The two subs come on and instantly make an impact. Assist from Awobi. And then the goal from Calvert-Lewin. And look at this cross, man. I didn't think the grounded would work. It looks like Palace were about to clear it. And then we put it in. This game's about one, man. 2-0. That's going to wrap it up. Game one in the books. We get ourselves a win in our managerial debut, guys. This is going to be the start to a very, very long career mode. I'm so excited to have you guys along on this journey with me. It's going to be so much fun. Before we end things off, we got the post-match interview we got to go straight into right here. And we are um, hopefully going to get some easier questions. I mean, a win in our debut... What are they going to ask us here? They ask if we're happy with our first win under our belt. And um, you know what? Let's give them a hard answer. There's still lots to do, man. We got a lot of work to do and a lot more signings to be made to work our way to the top. We witnessed McKinney's first minutes. Um, what do you make of his debut? I couldn't start him. I figured it would be a surprise. He must give his all. Um, let's say uh, we figured it'd be a surprise because i honestly didn't know if i was going to play him at the beginning but what a win what a way to start off Keen's poor run of form bro he almost scored i think he's playing well um let's just say he can only go up from here but with that boys this is going to be a shorter episode as i need your help on transfers every episode from here on out is going to be probably 30 to 40 minutes long i want this to be a different sort of career mode than other youtubers do where we're getting through seasons fast we're also playing a ton of games and i want your input what signing should we make in this transfer window as well as January? Because we're going to get into the January transfer window during next episode as well. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hope you're enjoying the Everton career mode. I can't wait to continue this, man. It's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you guys later. Peace.